plate. We're going to have a mark there. We don't want that. So we can just put the edges. And then I take a clean part of the rag and I take all that off. Besides that, this is a hydraulic press, and so there's oil that drops down on the oil there. And that oil might drop since the last user was here, and if you got some oil on things, you get out of your paper, you got a sheet scrap. There's nothing you can do about it, you can't get it out. Alright. So first we little spritz of solvent and the rest of the press on. Press bed on. Now this sheet that's under here is what we call a setup sheet. And the one that's here, this is kind of standard sheet, which has a lot of common sizes on it. And for a lot of stuff, if you're doing a piece, you want the registration on your plate to be just right, then you might do your own setup sheet. This just shows your own work on it. But for most users, this is pretty good. This has got just about every, all the standard sizes on it. So we've got 18 by 24 plate. We've got a Now, oops. Mm -hmm. when I am printing, I gotta get my uh, strippers. My hands get dirty when I'm printing. So, in order to handle the paper, what we do is we make these little paper grippers. And that way we can handle the paper with dirty fingers and pull them first. Notice when I fold this, I don't fold them exactly even. So I've got a little lip there that I can just pick up the paper with. All right. So let's open the paper pack. <coughs> Our paper has been soaking for over an hour. Looks good. One thing that you want is you want the water to soak into the paper, not be on the surface of the paper. And that's what we've got here. The water has, that's another reason why I like soaking it like this, because it encourages the water to go into the paper and not sit on top of the paper. I'm going to block this. I see a little bit of surface water on the paper there, so I just want to take that off of this. I'm just going to block that off. Some of these sheets have a lot of oil in them. It's not going to transfer here because I can't press it like that. Now, it's easiest, most effective, if you hold the sheet on the long edge. And then, oops, shit. Okay. All right. So we're going to register that long edge on the 22 by 30 paper there. Once we get that down, we lock it down, then we can just drop the paper. Now this paper here is a little bit, has expanded a little bit beyond the twin right here, so I'm going to go back a little bit. Alright. When you print, I require that you put a sheet of news print between your work and my blankets. And the purpose of that is to prevent any ink from coming up and damaging the blankets. And if you damage the blankets, I ask you to pay for them. Because I do need to use our blankets. Well, let's put some news print down anyway. Alright. I want to use a sheet that didn't have so much work. So this is just to protect the blankets and to protect the back of your paper from anything coming down. Then the other thing is that my hands get dirty when I am printing, so I keep a sheet of newsprint on either side of the blankets. So I never actually touch the blankets themselves. I'm always just touching the newsprint that's on either side. 
we're getting some leaking on this press these days, so as these sheets get filled up with oil, we put them aside and put clean ones out. Okay. So I've got the plate, the paper, newsprint, and the blankets. This sheet of newsprint is part of the blankets, the one on either side. Push it in. For, for printing, on one of the nice things about this press is how you set the pressure. And because we set the pressure with a dial here, it's very simple. And for printing etchings, a good pressure is about 14 to 1600, so I'll put it at 1500. As a matter of fact, I'll put it at 1526 and a half. All right, there you go. We turn the press on here, and we close it. All the work, it's all done, we can turn it off, we're through with the press. One sheet on either side of the new of the blankets, so you never touch the blankets. This sheet here, we take this and we move it over here. Once we put a sheet over here, it stays over here. We never bring it back. Because we never know if there might be ink on these sheets. So we leave them here. Look at this. Dina, look at look at his uh, etching. <laughs> this is oh. his first one. That's well, nice. You should see it. <laughs> yeah, really, you should see it. That's something, isn't it? Oh, oh did you want to see it too? Oh. <laughs> Okay, we got a lot of white space out there. We got some work to do on this plate here. Yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> looks good the way it is. I mean, we've got good stuff there. Uh, this here wasn't quite as deep as we wanted it, right? So we maybe need to do a little bit of rework there and a little bit of rework here. I don't know what you want to do on these spaces. We didn't we didn't pick up that texture that you were looking for, did we? So maybe we're going to find some other ways to put some texture in out there. And I'll show you some ways to do that. All right. But in the meantime, let's set this aside. Now, what we do with etchings. Because they're printed on wet paper, as we put them in a stack here between blotters, and for blotters we use scrap prints here. So these are just this is just scrap prints. But the reason we use them, you can buy regular blotters, but the reason we use scrap is it's just as good and it's acid free. We don't have to worry about anything transferring and so on. Okay. And then what happens is that because they're wet, the fibers of the paper dry differentially. That is to say that some fibers dry faster than others, and that's what causes the paper to curl. So what we do here is we put the paper down and then we, we put a sheet of, we put another blotter on there and then we put a weight on there. Now you have two options. You can leave it here for a couple of days and what I do is I change these blotters every day and I keep a weight on it and they dry nice and flat. Or you can take it home and just let it dry in the air and it'll dry with a little weight on it, but there's nothing wrong with that. You can take that out by putting it under press later on. So those are your options. Okay? All right, let's print it once again, this time you get to do it. Thank <laughs> you. 